I am the table. I am the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh. Hello, folks. I am the one, the only, a hobo, Tom. And today I'm talking about a little about SmackDown because I finally got to watch some wrestling. But before I do that, for those of you that interacted with me, interacted with me in the Discord, I'm sorry, it is a red wine and pizza Friday. I've had a delicioso bottle of red wine. If I threw it out, threw it out already. It's so better when I'm actually making the video and drinking it, like with impact. Give us impact on Friday nights. Let me know via email or comment if you miss Impact on Friday nights too. How about that? Let's get to some shout out videos. See here. I am the table. I am the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I don't know. You, sir, get that six count. And then Burnin Corny, sir, you are a master. The air drum and air guitar.
And Farron, you are a brief box hero with stars in his eyes. And with all this, let's get to some SmackDown. And I do have to make a graphic for it. I do have a good graphic, actually, for the live show I'm going to this Sunday. So you can see this guy, Hobo's on Live. And you may even get, if you say hi to me, I'm going to give you a chance for your shout-out here on my YouTube channel. Hey, I'm a nice guy. Oh, I did find out that my ex company. Stock drop below a dollar. F them. Mother. Catters. I guess I can say that. So let's see here. Um, let's talk about some SmackDown. It was a weird show. I think the good news is, is that they're finally building up to tables, ladders, and chairs. It will be next Sunday, which... I will be doing my live stream R R and R show. No W's involved because if not, two. See ya, Hobo Tom. Uh, so SmackDown starts off with a Daniel Bryan and kind of Fiend recap. So that was pretty cool. Then we had Ms. TV, Ms. TV, Ms. TV. That was fun. Um, he talks about how the Fiend keeps on changing people. Good little promo. He says, Dan, I'm, I'm not a friend of Daniel O'Brien, but I respect Daniel O'Brien. And then, will you be our friend? I forget what the rest of it is. But Firefly Funno shows up. And Bray White's there, and there's a picture of Daniel O'Brien with his unhappy face and an excess through his eyes. I want to see an unshaved, I want to see a shaved Daniel O'Brien. Yes. 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 With a shaved Liv Morgan? Both part. Yes! 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 The fact that Liv Morgan doesn't isn't on TV, you tell riots! But she wasn't on TV. She's been so much better with her on. Um, so again, Firefly Funhouse. The word of the day is family. Uh-oh. The Miz has a family. I'm a rebel, rebel. You gotta run away, man. Run, run, run. This is pretty cool. I do like the fact that they're doing a lot with um, Bray Wyatt and the fact that he is turning wrestlers evil or he's changing them. There's something changing about these wrestlers that he faces. And this is a good, upstanding family man. What's gonna happen when he meets the fiend? At tables, ladders, and chairs in two weeks. We can only speculate. In fact, we can only speculate about the matches. SmackDown listed a couple of matches. I forgot that. Um, I'll go through them later. Or as I get to them. Um, but as part of the Wyatt family, they did show Daniel Bryan's face. Indeed. I wonder what happened at the Starcade match. I don't know. I heard like something about it, but I didn't see it. Starkey, God, what a freaking garbage fire that was. Wow. But okay, so now we get to some proper wrestling. Or or we would, except for Boo Sonya Deville showed up. Boo! 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 Uh, so as Mandy Rose taking on Alexa Bliss with Nikki Cross in her corner. Yes. Yes! Um, Alexa Bliss. And for the most part, what did she do? She dropped. I don't know, something. And Corey Graves is confused. He doesn't know who, who to cheer for. Alexa Bliss wrestled in her shirt, so you know this wasn't going to be anything of a spectacular match. Really, it wasn't. And ooch! That running knee Mandy Rose delivered to Alexa Bliss. That's not good. That means Alexa Bliss is going to be up for another six months with another concussion. And then Mandy Rose did the Ultimo Heel thing and ripped out the fake eyelashes of Alexa Bliss. Because I'll tell you what, I'll give credit when they do something new. 
and that was new. Um, and then there was that botch kick. That was terrible. She, I know you're not really supposed to hit the person. You have to get a close, closer than like a foot. If Hobo Tom can tell that you missed, that's not good. Uh, what else was there? Then there was shaming Alexa. You know what I'm going to you. I'll tell you what. I will say this though: the TV effects, whatever Vince McMahon was trying to accomplish for this match, he oh, a plus for the TV effects. It had that weird blur effect on the outside, but just focused on Mandy Rose. And for Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, they showed kind of like the um, what's the best way to call them? Like sock puppets stitched together doll face of Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross and Nikki Cross's doll face just had this goofy smile. Like you knew who exactly who, which one was which. I was shocked. That was utterly amazing. I should have taken a picture of it, but I have fear of copyright violations. I I, I fear. Triple H showing up at my door saying, We're sick of you, Hobo Tom. You son of a bitch. And like pedigree me or, or, or hurt me even worse. Take my kitty cat away from me. That would be a fight. Um, what was it? It was a, it was a really strike heavy match. You can tell Alexa Bliss is just getting back into the ring. Kind of shape and ring mentality to do stuff. Uh, Nikki Cross killed Sonya Deville. The boo, Sonya Deville! Yay, Nikki Cross! Uh, Nikki did the flying cross body from the steps when Sonya tried to interfere. That was good. That DDT that Alexa Bliss did just looked ugly. The Twisted Bliss looks good, but it's hard to screw that up on a prone opponent. So, I'm bleeding again, man. Blood, blood, blood. I thought this thing would heal itself by now. Do you have a napkin around here somewhere? Oh, maybe I threw it out with a pizza box I have for my red wine pizza. Because I've stopped going to pizza ever since they screwed up my order. Boo, Pizza Hut. Hooray, Papa John's. But the ET look awful. Oh, you're good. I'm good too. In fact, that was so good. I actually got some Christmas gifts wrapped up. That means I'm really good. Alexa Bliss won this match. It was okay. It was a ham sandwich of a match. Then we had Dana Brooke and backstage telling me between Dana Brooke and Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick, aren't you married? If I was married to her name, Michelle, I'd be doing things to her. In the bedroom, on the countertops, my office couch, on the office floor, on the garage, in the backyard, on the driveway. Let me stop there. On the pool table, <laughs> on the deck chairs. You know where I'm going with this, folks. Um, so he's still hitting on Dana Brooke. I want to see Renee Michelle like either slap the 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 potato spudness out of Drake Maverick though. He needs that. Elias comes out. He serenades Dana Brooke a little bit. Are those two the thing? I know Dana Brooke's supposedly having a dinner date with Batista. Batista might be new, but because he's Big Dave though. Um. So, so Drake Maverick in the backstage. No cells to slap by Drake Maverick. The slap hurled hurl around the world. And then this leads to just a fight. I'll cover it anyway. So we got on the ringside. Drake Maverick versus Elias. Oh, walk with Elias. Oh, walk with Elias. Uh, so for the most part of that, Drake has held back like a little kid 
Elias puts his hand out. Yeah. Jake Maverick short. You get it? Uh, what else? Jake Maverick gets punt out to the rib. P punts it out of the ring. Dana Brooke tosses Jake Maverick back in the ring. He gets hit with the crossroads. Dana Brooke does the mock pin. Steps on him. Elias counts to three. One, two, three. I was entertained by this. Though. This was entertainment. Especially sure you see Dana Brooks' ex exposed tummy. She is a cute. She's a very womanly. A very soft tummy. I like that tummy. Whoa. So I'll, I'll say, you know what? That was a wrestling match. That was a fight. It was a ham sandwich. The only thing I have to say to Miz is never go in any red lit room. Because um, he got jumped by Bray Wyatt and again, Bray Wyatt's whole theme was family with the Miz's family. Uh-oh. There we go. hope this is better. Yeah. My camera decided to freeze up. Well, I have to make note. Darn it. 54, 54. So again, being this, the word of this family, um, Bray White wants to be a part of the Miz's family. I can't blame Bray White. I don't want to be with Maurice too. Maurice might be getting a little loose down there, though. Oh, yeah, having two kids will do that to a woman. I think did I ever date a woman with? No, just one. That was like years apart too. Um, let's see here. So, <laughs> beyond my horribleness. Uh, Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt again, insert his picture in instead of the Miz. Oh, I like I like the fact when they bring families involved with this. It makes it fun. And then the new day rocks, new day rocks. They come down the ring tech. They're going to help uh, commentate on this match, and it's a fatal four way elimination. So the four teams is Mustafa Ali and Shorty G. Lucha Hearts Party. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. The Revival. See ya! And Bang! Heavy Machinery. So it starts off between Shorty G and Grand Metalik, which is always fun. I don't know. They were just trying to outflip themselves. This was amazing. Uh, then eventually, this is this is a wrestling match. Again, they do the classic tag team work by by both Shorty G and Mustafa Ali. Again, tag, isolating one, Grand Malik's arm, stomping on that. It just came to a flippy, flippy festa. I'll tell you what, you can't beat a flippy, flippy fest with some of those people. Uh, Mustafa Ali and Grand Malik, they, they just do a flip off, and 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 not this kind of flip off. I'm talking about they're actually like doing flips and stuff in the ring. Not at the level of Ricochet and Will Osprey. It's getting close to. But I'll tell you what, it was fun, it was exciting, gave me energy, hooked me up. Oh, if it hooks me up, you know, eventually uh, Tucker Knight got in. Because uh, Grand Metal, well, actually, Otis got in. Grand Metal League tried, tried to do a splash on Otis. Ah, that's not happening. They compact him. Grand Metal League gets pinned. And the first team eliminated is Lucha House Party. Lucha. 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 So that was really cool, though. Again, Tucker Knight gets beat up classically. Otis gets a hot tag. Otis, Otis Hulk's off. Oh, Otis is the best Hulk helper ever. Besides Hulk Hogan. Um, and it's just funny. Because then he starts to gyrate his hips. And yeah! Shake his belly. Get in my belly. I like that. And all that beef. Whoa. I got tranquilo for a moment. Um, but then again, uh, eventually all four of them get in the ring. Then the... Who was eliminated next? Oh, actually, it was uh, Heavy Machinery gets eliminated next. And then it's, it's a four-man in the ring. 
because it was kind of like a sneaky roll by the revival because he grabbed really way too much of a fistful of trunks. Oh, I guess there is way too much of a fistful of trunks of Otis to go around. There's more than enough. He didn't have to grab that much. I uh, rolled up and the most other thing finished the roll up maneuver. So now that leaves Shory G and Mustafa Ali taking on the revival. So yeah. Yeah, now it came down to a really classic wrestling match. This was some good stuff, though. And classic holds, um, even though Ali and Shory G did do the suicide dive. That was awesome. Uh, Ali tried to suicide dive and got caught and just like got tossed into like the timekeeper's area. Oh, that hurt Ali. And then the revival hit the shatter machine. Yes, on Shory G. Then they cut a promo. This was an amazing. This was a really good match. It's a really good match. I like that match. It's a really good match. It's a surf and turf match, folks. Let's see here. Have these. Oh, heavy machinery then eliminated. Okay. Then we had a Roman Reigns promo and a Sheamus preview. Yay, Sheamus is coming back. Then we have Lacey Evans versus Harley Jones. Um, my only thing is that it looked like Sergeant Pepper was in the ring versus Lacey Evans. The jobber did get a kick in. But again, this shows where Lacey Evans is not that experienced. And Oh yeah, when Lacey Evans came out, like like she extended her hand for like some guy to kiss it, he refused to kiss it. Listen, I would tongue her knuckle. I would kiss that hand. You loser, 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 loser. Either that, or you don't know how to be a freaking gentleman. Stupid, drunk from Milwaukee or wherever you're from. I don't even care. Doesn't know how to lady's his hand when she offers it. Suck that knuckle. <laughs> and then to tell a lady you really like her, you kind of look in between here and that tells her where you... Oh, wait, I can't say that. Even though this video's not for kids, it doesn't work. Um, Lacey Evans, again, Machabra got her kick in. And there was a lot of miscommunication because they were like bouncing really close by those ropes. And that's when you can tell, like the one thing, if you forget what the spot is and you're going off the ropes, you're taught to like hold on to those ropes and you can always redo that spot. So it looks kind of natural. But when you do it like three or four times, it's not natural. Now, Lacey Evans does hit the women's right on set jobber. Lacey Evans still has a long way to go. Piece of toast. And Sasha Banks shows up. She challenges Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans winds up like she's going to give her the woman's right. And, and Sasha botch botches. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Sasha Banks flinches. And it's really bad. And I'm not looking forward to that. And then, wow. We have the main event. This was kind of quick. It's weird. It's Roman Reigns versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Dolph starts collegiately wrestling. I like that. Whenever I see people collegiately wrestling, that's always fun. And then, uh-oh, after a little bit on the outside, it turns into a headlock match. Eh. Dolph, I think, did this with Seth Rollins. Guess what that was? Eh. Really? Oh. Oh. Let me wake up from this. Um, both do one out the outside, and then Baron Corbin shows up. Uh, Superman punches, misses, uh, misses Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Roman Reigns catches a super kick from Dolph Ziggler. Come on! He used Shinsuke Nakamura's phrase. And then Dolph Ziggler hit a zigzag. Oh, and Roman Reigns kicked out. That's good. Roman Reigns is strong. He should be book strong. Corbin, Corbin tries to. 
Um, get involved in the match. You get super punched for his eff efforts. Eventually, Roman Reigns does pin Dolph Ziggler after a spear. Spear, most powerful move. Uh, Corbin, again. It's, it's okay. And Corbin interferes once the match is over. Match overall is a cheeseburger match. What I didn't necessarily like is that there's still seven minutes left. So the jobbers that were carrying Baron Corbin on his throne attack Roman Reigns. Of course, Roman Reigns is going to beat up all, all said jobbers. And then Baron Corbin, he finds, and then there's some like, random, random guy under the ring. Because you saw the four people carrying the throne, and there was like some like creeper? I don't know, under the ring? And he held Roman Reigns' foot, and they beat him up some more. They found some handcuffs, handcuffed Roman Reigns over the top. <laughs> it was kind of funny. This sort of was saying everything between, between crucify him. <laughs> <laughs> Nail him to the cross. <laughs> it was so irreverent. Oh, by the way, I have to give the shout out. I wanted to get this picture. But someone right behind commentary had a sign that said, The Fiend needs Jesus. Oh, wow. Don't these people knew that wrestling is choreographed? Not fake, but wow. Oh, wow. The fiend needs Jesus. Oh, praise Lord, baby Jesus. The best of all, baby Jesus is even better than middle-aged Jesus. Thank you for the gift from this delicious place called KFC and this place of meat, cheese, and dough called Domino's. <laughs> there, are, there are many reasons why I hope oh, Tom is going to a very special place in hell. Yes, for statements like that. So so then he gets fed dog food after he's handcuffed to the ring. They kind of toss the handcuffs over the top of the post. I'll give it that much. It was different. And they fed him dog food. Yep. Dog food! And that was SmackDown. I'll tell you what. It was mercifully quick. I guess is the best thing that you can say about it. Um, it'll be interesting to see the go-home show for tables, ladders, and chairs, because, wow, they're doing nothing for tables, ladders, and chairs, folks. In fact, they're doing nothing for a lot of their pay-per-views. And that was SmackDown. Again, for the rest, well, the rest of the week's over! I, I'll, I'll be posting this up once it's, once it's done processing. And it should be up. Yeah... Midnightish morning, like hyper early morning, if not on Saturday. Sunday, you can meet this guy, Hobo Tom, here at Daytona Beach when WWE comes here live. I'm going to be there because I'm going to buy my ticket at 4 o'clock because there's no way in heck that I am going to pay a $15 fee for a $15 ticket. Makes no sense, folks. It's not AEW. It's WWE. There's going to be plenty of seats available for this guy to sit in. Especially up in the hobo section. The $15 seats. The beach ball section. Bleacher creatures. The hobo creatures. And then next week is going to be Monday. WWE Raw. Tuesday, I'm going to take Impact off because I have to work. Wednesday, I'll be back to AEW. I might do that. I might do that on off again thing. Uh, Friday night, again, I will do my SmackDown review. Thursday, I'm sorry, Thursday, I'm also going to do a predictions video. Of worst comes worst is up Saturday. Um, then Sunday is going to be TLC. 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 Tables, ladders, chairs. Chairs, ladders, tables. Other than that, it's been a fairly uneventful night. I hope everyone